a set of course that have teased us in the latest trailer let's go and check it out and show you what i found in the newer set of course of trailer let's go <laughs> Seto Corsa Evo. This is not about your age. Let go of the past. It's not about your age, bro. Yes. Right, so first this things first, me. guys. Look at the way the light is shimmering. The, the, the attention to detail in this game is going to be incredible. This can take over the internet. I, I swear to God, if they do it right, they've listened to the modding community. They will take over. Look at the lights, man. Listen, the trees also look really nice. Um, I, I'm just going to try and pick out in this video everything I can see. This is not about your car. We have been waiting for this. New oh. graphics. Just everything we've ever wanted. It isn't about your experience. The, the attention to detail is is, is incredible. Look at the way, oh, this picture, this picture tells us where they want to go with the game, all right? First things first, look at the steering wheel. The screws in the steering wheel, the texture, not the perfect silver texture. It's slightly got scratches in it, the slight imperfections with age, the wooden, I don't know how you call that, but the wooden steering wheel, the leather, look at the leather. It just looks incredible. And another thing to see in this video is the driver model. He doesn't have any gloves. Um, this indicates that it ain't going to be solely focused on hardcore racing simulator. It's going to be a bit of both, in my opinion. The way he's got an open-faced helmet and no gloves tells me quite a lot. About your experience. And again, the guy, he's got no gloves on, with the jacket on, his hands. It just looks mad. Attention to detail. It isn't about performance or power. And then now they it bring in the racing part of the sim rig. Driving. Because Carpatia is a state of mind. See, they said car passion is a state of mind. Now, I it gives me goosebumps, man. I love motorsport. I love cars. I don't just love racing. I love the motorsport as a whole. They have a real big passion. Now, look at this. Yeah, This little image is crazy. So, what I can see from here is the grass textures, the road textures, the curbs, the tyres, the way the tyres sat on the surface here and it's kind of warping to the surface. The mirrors, look at the mirrors. I can see behind that car and I'm not in the car. This tells you a lot about the game, the textures, the way it looks, it's just the way the body rolls. Look, ray tracing, again on point, um, I believe this is where I'm probably going to support ray tracing and HDR, whereas the previous version did not. Um, attention to detail with the engines as well is, is cool. Um, there's only one thing I can see wrong with this, as I've modeled a, a couple of cars. Um, the only thing I don't like is on the right hand side, you can see here, it's like a flat image with the bolts. I think they could have done a little bit better there, but at the end of the day, I don't think anyone's really going to care. I think going to this level of attention to detail in a game it is what we need. And the animated characters, the cameras, the guy's pulling out his camera, ready to take a photo of this Porsche. This guy's dangling on his little laptop, telling the people that he's going to the track. Kind of funny. Look. Oh, missed it. Moving characters again, as you saw there, moving people. And on the top of the building as well. Oh, did you see that windscreen? Wow. It looks so good. Honestly, a mixture, this kind of, I've got a feeling they're going to like try and integrate a little bit of ACC physics and the graphics over there because they are impeccable with the new AC Evo. Um, and again, as you can see, this is more race orientated because he has gloves on, he has racing gloves and a Porsche GT Cup. I don't know which Porsche this is. I'm not a very massive Porsche fan. Um, 
But again, the level of detail in this game, I'm just looking at it now. The, the biggest thing for me that I'm looking at right now is this, is this, the screen and the dirt and the, and the way the light is reflecting off the screen. It looks incredible. Oh, dynamic weather. Rain, we know, we know we want rain. Give me more. Nice. Again, attention to detail, as I of course. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be any game. Don't get me wrong. I understand there is plenty of games out there that do offer this level of detail. But 2024 to 2025, I believe, this is going to be the next game you want to play. Trust me. Okay. I... You don't need to do this, like, but they have. Um, like, look, the bolts, the text, it's just the carbon, the, the, the Alcantara, there's Alcantara, I'm not even sure. The stitching, the switches, just, bro. Stop. Go back. This is not a track, a sow. This is where they're teasing us. This tells me this part of the video tells me it isn't just going to be track oriented. I'm not really sure what this car is, um, but they have the Acetyl hoodie on. <laughs> They've actually got an Acetyl hoodie on. They actually sell these hoodies, I believe. Um, this part, look, they're not on a racing track. There's a middle line in the road. It, this looks like a back road of some sort. Not quite sure where, because he's driving on the right-hand side of the road. Us in Britain, we drive on the left-hand side of the road, so this is kind of complicated. But then there's this. This, to me, has to be the biggest indication and the sneakiest indication there's a car traveling down one side of the road and a car oncoming the other side of the road. This tells me they are planning on some sort of traffic. Um, I'm not quite sure what they've done with this and they've done it in such a way. They did it in this weird looking car. Sorry, I don't know the car. It looks like an Aston Martin badge of some kind. Not really into the old classic stuff. Always it a BMW. I don't even know what it is. Chat, let me know down in the comments below what car this actually is. But that is the BMW M4 it looks like. I believe. And this is an old three-wheeler Aston Martin. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to have a good old guess. But as you can see right here, this ain't on the track. This is like the sneakiest way of telling us we're giving you what you want, basically. The car enthusiast, the modding community have been begging a game to be moddable, open world, some sort of, so we can do what we wish. And I think Assetto Corsa Evo have actually listened, which is very, very unusual for a developer to be like, yeah, we'll do what you want. <laughs> We've been wanting this we, for the past past few years. Assetto Corsa hasn't even died yet. The Assetto Corsa is actually the community over on Assetto, Assetto Corsa is so big. I mean, massive. I'd say at least a million people are still interested in playing Assetto Corsa. They've got the No Hesse community, the Pushing P, the, the TGN, the... Boosted UK, the, all the other massive servers, not massive, but all the other massive communities. So this is honestly super interesting. This is probably the biggest clue throughout the entire video. And this part, he's not wearing, he's not wearing like racing shoes. If I approve racing shoes, he's wearing trainers and, and, and jeans. <laughs> this tells us everything we need to know. This could be the best game on planet earth for the next 10 years. And again, that clip, old gen versus new gen on the Nürburgring and a racing car, bro. I'm just, I'm just super excited. Early access program starts on the 16th of January. So we know it's coming out next year. Everything I've seen in this two minute video gives me a little indication about where they're going to go with the game. They want it to be high detailed, really good quality. Um, 
physics. They've made a point on physics with the car hopping over the curb and the suspension leaning the tire physics. They've made an indication of the mirror resolutions, how high quality it is um, for the textures, the grass, the weather, the dynamic weather. The ray tracing is obviously a big thing in this game. Um, the, it, I think this can be the next big thing. A set of course has always been in my heart and it always will be, but I think it's time we had a new a new toy. Um, and this is going to be it. I think this game is going to be better than anything you've ever played. And next year, 2025, probably going to be the year you want to update your PC or get a PC or get a sim rig. Over on the right hand side, we have a next level racing simulator and it is the best way to play. You're on controller right now. Next year, when this releases, you're probably going to want to get a sim racer. The next installation of this game is going to be incredible. With just the little things I've seen throughout this trailer this it, it just looks incredible let me know down in the comments below what you think are they gonna let us mod the game do you think it's gonna be open world some sort of open world give us that indication there um that tells us everything we need to know guys and it is an aston martin i was right british nice they're thinking about those Britons. It tells us here where we're going to go. Right here. The ray tracing, bro. You're not getting blinded by the sun. It's peeking through the trees as well, which is incredible. You know down in the comments below what you think to this game. Are you going to be playing it? Do you think they are going to allow the mods? What do you actually think to the trailer? They haven't given us too much information. They've kind of been sneaky with this. I feel like this part of the trailer is the most sneakiest thing I've ever seen anyone do. It, they've used like an old classic car to hide it. It's just a little bit weird how they've done it. But let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.